So what we want to figure out is when ammo is equal to zero. So you drag ammo to the top one. If ammo is equal to zero, then it goes in this condition. And so, um, you know, it's pretty basic. And just to, just to speed things up, we're not going to make an ammo a shooting system yet. We're going to drag this out and click set. You get this little set ammo count. And then we're going to decrease the ammo. Every single time this is hit, we're going to decrease the ammo by one. Um, I mean, I'm actually going to quickly change ammo to like a thousand. This will go by instantly, trust me. Um, so you get your ammo. And you just set that right here. And to, you know, to decrease the ammo, you just get ammo minus one. It's a pretty basic um, integer system. But obviously, you know, for one, there, there should be an easier way of doing this besides making the ammo minus one, right? And there actually is. It's called negate. Negate int, I guess. And so you just put this into the system. And then you just get the ammo, subtract it by one, and you just output it like that. Super simple, right? And, um, and then it just sets the ammo count to that new ammo count. Let's just make sure. And you can drag out the node from here, or you can drag it back out from here. I prefer to use this one, but it's your choice. And so what this does, it just minuses it by one. Whatever it is, it minuses it by one. Um, and then on the false system, so once this equals zero, we want to no longer decrease ammo counts because that would, you know, not work anymore. There's, you can't have negative ammo. Um, we want to start decreasing the health. The health is 100%. And I'm going to go into like percent decreasion. This is kind of like exponentials. Um, it's pretty basic though. We're going to want to set health like this. And you just want to get health. And then you want to multiply it by a float. Float times float. Super simple. And if you want to multiply it by multiple floats, you click add pin. We don't. We only need one other float, to be honest. And we're going to make this float um, 0 0.9. And so this will decrease health by 10% every, every tick. But it will not do the full health, it will just do what the current health is remaining. So we just drag this right here. It's pretty simple, right? And now, just so we can see what we're doing, to see what this does, because right now, you know, this doesn't do much. Actually, before we do that, uh, before we see what we're doing, we want to make sure that once your health reaches a low number, you know, a lower number, not zero, but just somewhere down in the 50s range, let's just say, we want our... Um, system to notify that to us. So we're going to make a branch. Again. Branches, again. Number one thing you use. And remember these? Obviously these, you know, health can be turned into an integer, but you're going to want to use something a little more accurate. To do that, we're going to make a greater than or less than sign again. We always want float minus, or float is greater than float. So if health, or if yeah, if health is greater than 50, um, we want to put that right here. That will be true, right? We're going to print string. We're actually going to print a few things through here. Actually, we'll just print one for now. I just realized I need to change some things after this. Um, so if health, is, if health is greater than 50, your character is going to say healthy. And again, we're going to want to make this 0.02. It may be 0 0.002, actually, now that I think about it. Let's find out. <laughs> um, okay, anyways, uh, let's just make it 0 0.02. Okay, so we have that. And if health is um, not greater than 50, so if health is less than 50, we want to say hurt. All right, super simple. And now we want to see these in action, because right now we don't see them in action. So to do that, we're going to want to print even more strings, but we're going to do a special type of print string. What this is, is we're going to get health, and you can just duplicate these, and ammo. The only thing you can't have more than one of is uh, um, events. That's fine. And what you want to do is you want to print the string like this. 
is drag health, so you drag that float to the string. What that actually does, surprisingly, is rather than just, um, um, what's it called? Rather than just, you know, putting a, a float value into a string, like into a, the wrong box and putting the wrong code there, it converts the float to an actual, like, string, which is like a sentence in a way. Um, so this two, this code two turns into like a TWO, so to speak. Um, so that's a pretty basic uh, system right here, right? Event begin play. If true is true, then all of this happens. Um, which is just, you know, basic branches and some basic uh, decretions. So to see if this works, I'm going to drag this out around here. You can see it stays on top. I'm going to click play. And you're going to see things updating in here. Kind of small. I want it a little bigger. Okay. So things are updating. We have this crouch system. You press crouch. You know, true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Pretty simple. Now, I'm a little worried actually because it looks like that isn't going into this system. So to make sure this system just works right away, we're just gonna remove this crouching part. Seems to be a little broken, that's fine. Now when we play, okay, cool. This worked. Um, I'm not sure why it's updating anymore. Actually, kind of, oh, this is event begin play. So again, number one thing of coding, make sure all of your code is correct. Um, did not realize that. So we want to change it from event begin play to event tick. So again, tick goes by every millisecond. God damn it. <laughs> every millisecond. And you know, it actually updates. So now if we press play, everything's working. See? I'm not crouched, and I am hurt. But now if I crouch, it says I'm crouching. See? Oh, bam. Pretty cool, huh? Um, I go back, I press play. Everything's going down. That goes to zero. And I'm hurt. Um, just to see that part in action. Health minus health. Go right here. Click simulation. Simulation doesn't work, huh? Click play. You see it going through. It's decreasing the health to 0.9 times its original health. And then it branches out of that. And it seems that health is less than 50. So then it goes to this print string. It says it's hurt. And it goes back up. To this print string, which tells you the health, well, health is currently zero. Surprising, I don't think exponentials are supposed to work like that, but okay. I guess it's fast enough where it just brings it all the way down. Then you have your ammo count, which is a thousand because the ammo isn't being set to ammo minus one unless we are crouching. Which, um. Wait. No, unless. Ammo equals zero. Um, so let's just change that quickly because that makes no sense. So if ammo is um, greater than zero. Actually, no, no, no. Keep that. We're going to reverse it. Just realize this is the wrong, this is the wrong way. Again, debugging. Great thing in code. So now ammo is being negated every single time that we crouch, I believe. Um... Not odd. Okay, we're just gonna quickly debug this. Again, bugs are a huge problem in code. Something you need to fix right away. It's also something that is very important. Okay, cool, that's working now. You can see ammo is being subtracted by one every single every single tick. It's happening so fast it's going straight to the negatives and going back because it's not supposed to be negative. You could crouch. Now the health isn't going down, but that's fine. As you can see, we've shown some pretty basic variables, pretty basic mathematical equations to be used in code of Unreal Engine 4. Um, if you want to see more basics or more going into the you know fundamentals of Unreal Engine 4, uh, please like and subscribe to this to my channel. Um, comment down below what you want to see. I really don't know what else I can make on basics. 
Um, I have some ideas for like line tracing, some basic other mathematical principles. These are almost all the fundamentals you need. With all these, you can really do a lot with this engine. Um, I put a very basic ex explanation, but you can make like ammo systems, reload systems, um, a bunch of other systems. Now, one basic thing you just you know, want to make watch out for is there's delay, and then there is weight. Task weight delay is stupid. You never want to use it. Delay is what you want if you're negating something or something of the other. Just kind of put it in, and it delays this system a little bit. So you can change that to whatever you know delay you want. Pretty basic. Um, this just you know stops something for a certain amount of seconds. Not super advanced, just something you need to know. And yes, yeah, so that's everything that turns that is really coding in this. Again, like subscribe if you like the video and want to see more. Um, and as always, thank you for watching and have a good game.